Welcome to Novell, where we are making IT work as one. Today we'd like to introduce you to one of Novell's Quick Fix On Demand training modules. This Quick Fix training discusses upgrading to Open Enterprise Server 2 SP1 Linux. Bill Lambert will do the presentation. Hello, and welcome to upgrading to OES2 SP1 Linux. I am your instructor, Bill Lambert. Some of the topics that we'll be covering is planning your upgrade, supported and unsupported paths, upgrade requirements, upgrading the server, finishing the upgrade, and other considerations. When planning for an upgrade, be sure to always check the README for any additional information or new information that you may need, and always upgrade the OS at the same time as upgrading OES. So, for example, if you are on an OES server and you want to go to OES SP1, be sure to upgrade the underlying SLES at the same time as upgrading the OES. Non-OES2 packages are going to be deleted by default. So, services, uh, OES1 services that are not included in OES2, other Novell products, SLES9 services, third-party products, all of these are going to be marked for deletion by default. Some of the upgrade requirements that we'd like to talk about is securing the current data, the issue between EVMS and NSS uh, on a system disk, some of the storage space uh, on the root partition, SLES 10 SP2, OES 1 SP2 concerns, e-directory concerns, IP addresses, DNS, common server certificates, and an installation source. You are watching a small portion of a Novell Quick Fix On Demand training module. The complete module contains all the necessary information that you will need. Let's continue discussing the server upgrade. There are three basic ways to accomplish this upgrade. Now, the entire upgrade will be done via what is known as a down server upgrade. You will take the server down and then reboot it to an installation source. And you can use any one of the three commonly used installation sources, an installation source via DHCP, an installation source without DHCP, or upgrading via a physical media or an ISO. And of course it's during this upgrade process that you are going to mark older packages, packages not found in OES 2 SP1. You can mark them to lock them or save them so that they're not deleted by default. Again, packages not included in the OES 2 SP1 add-on CD will be deleted by default if you don't take action. The information you have just reviewed is just part of a quick fix on demand training module. The complete training module includes all pertinent information such as upgrade requirements, upgrade tasks, services, and all other necessary elements. Thank you for joining us. For further information on Novell's on demand training and how to purchase this and other Novell on demand training, please click on the URL provided to the right of this video in the description box.